<laughs> All right, so this is a hip thrust on the Smith machine. It's basically the same movement you would do with a regular barbell, only in the Smith machine, it's gonna give you stability. Um, it's gonna make it easier to set it up and actually get the, weight, the bar on your waist. Sometimes doing it off the floor, especially if you're not using the full-size plates, can be hard to roll over your thighs. So that can be a problem too. And doing it this way, you don't have to worry about that. You're just gonna get under the bar and lift it straight up. Um, depending on your setup at the gym, you might you know, put the bench on this side or this side of the bar. It really depends on the way the Smith machine is set up. For me, this Smith machine is angling towards the camera. So as it comes down, it comes closer to me. So it makes sense for me to put the bench on this side because as I come down my hips, my hips are gonna come closer towards this mirror. So we want it at this angle. We wanna set it up just like this if you're in this particular gym or using this particular Smith machine, okay? Now if the machine, Smith machine goes straight up and down, it doesn't really matter that much which direction you put the bench, okay? So keep that in mind. But basically you're just gonna slip under here, you'll get grab the pad, just like that. You know, get in position, and from here, abs tight, you know, lift and unrack, and then you just let your hips drop, and then drive up with your hips, hips drop, drive up. One thing you do not want to do, don't lay your head back and arch your back, okay? We want to keep this all together from your chin to your stomach. It should all go down as one unit as you go up and down. So keep your chin down, kind of look at your belly or your knees, and that helps you focus on the glutes, which is what we're trying to work, okay? So let me know if you have any questions.